Well, this is Arinafe Hospital. This hospital started in the year 1999 because of two main problems. One, we had a lot of cases of malnutrition and the center started as a nutrition rehabilitation unit. And the second point was in this area, most of the children were never immunized. They never got vaccines. So the hospital intended to improve immunization coverage in the community. And since 1999, in 2007, the hospital was upgraded to a health, no, the nutrition rehabilitation unit was upgraded to a health center. And then later, it was also upgraded to a community hospital. Yes, so looking at the maternity services in the hospital, before the maternity, a lot of mothers were dying in the community because of maternal complications. Most of them were delivering in the community using the traditional birth attendants. But the problem was that the traditional birth attendants did not, do not have knowledge to know if the mother needs emergency attention. For example, if the mother is anemic, they will not know. For example, if the mother is maybe having high blood pressure, they will not know. For example, if the mother maybe needs caesarean section, they will not know. So all these mothers, when they go to traditional birth attendants, were dying. And Alinafe was registering an in increase in the number of orphan babies. So it is because of that that Alinafe started the maternity services, and now we have seen a reduction. And we have even seen more mothers appreciating the services of the hospital. More babies are now alive, more mothers are now alive. And this is a very positive impact to the hospital. Not only that, we can also talk about other services like physiotherapy. The hospital is not just inside here, but we are also trying to focus on the preventive part and the rehabilitative part on other problems like people with physical disabilities. There are other people who are born with physical disabilities who just need physiotherapy. And with physiotherapy, we have seen that a lot of them have improved. Some of them are working. And then communities, including volunteers, are also trained in the same way that they can conduct uh, physiotherapy services to the beneficiaries within their community and lives of the people are changing. We are also looking at another area, which is uh, the laboratory services. At Inafep, area on did not have laboratory services, but over the years we have seen that many people were dying. Why? Because the hospital could not be able to transfuse once we need a, a patient to receive blood. These patients were referred to Nkodawada District Hospital, which is 60 kilometers from the hospital. And with the coming in of the laboratory, laboratorio, the labora laboratory, we are now able to give blood transfusions. But we are also able to check some diseases, like uh, to confirm diagnosis. If we are able to confirm that the patient is having malaria, if we are able to confirm that the patient is having some bacterial infections, it means the patient is going to receive the right treatment. And if the patient receives the right treatment, it means the patient will be able to be cured in a good time and the patient will spend less money in the hospital which is paid in the hospital because the money that is paid is only for the right treatment not for the polypharmacy of different treatments which are given. In addition to that, INAFE is also providing and retroviral treatment to people suffering from HIV and AIDS. Initially, all patients who with HIV and AIDS or SIDA who needed treatment were referred to Nkotakota District Hospital. But most of them did not have enough money to pay for transport to go to the district hospital. As a result, most of them were not going. And most of them, if they were not going, that means they were not taking treatment. And if they were not taking treatment, it meant a lot of complications and most of them were dying. But now we are able to improve the counseling sessions right here in the hospital. But not only counseling sessions, but also we are able to provide treatment to those who deserve it. And this has seen a lot of people with HIV and AIDS living positively and now they are strong and doing very positive developments within their community. Arinafe is offering some programs like the orphan care program. These orphans who have lost one or single parents and are under the age of 15 are registered within 
the community using the chiefs and the community volunteers and then other staff from Marinafe. Once these are registered, there are several services which are provided to them. The first service is they get free medical treatment. We have seen that most of these orphans, they stay with the grandparents. And most of the grandparents, they never believed in taking their grandchildren to the hospital. They were taking them to the traditional healers. And we saw that most of the orphans were dying. So in order to help the grandparents and in order to help the children, uh, to save the children's life, we opened up like a health package for the orphans to get free medical services. But not only that, we are also looking at the sustainability of these orphans. So Arinafe is also promoting education among the vulnerable children. We have different schools. We have the community-based child care centers. Arinafe is currently supporting 85 community-based child care centers in the community. And each school has an average of 40 children. So the whole idea is like to give primary education to these uh, children, to give them a foundation that when they go to primary school, they have a very good foundation. And we have seen that most of the children from these community child care uh, centers, when they go to primary school, they do, they perform very, very well. Not only these children, but we are also targeting those who are going in primary schools as well as secondary schools. For those who are going in secondary schools, one of the challenges is that they cannot be able to pay school fees is very expensive and they are staying with the parents who cannot manage to pay. So Arinafe has a bursary scheme and this bursary scheme supports those needed students who have been selected to go to secondary school. This has also been very, very positive development in the community because over the years we have seen some students who are now teachers. We have seen some students who are now nurses. We have seen some students who are now community development assistants. We have seen some students who are now pastors in several churches, businessmen. So this is really a very, very good thing. Apart from the orphan program, the hospital is also conducting a mobile clinic. So this mobile clinic is in three parts. The first part is the mobile immunization coverage program, whereby the hospital goes out to the communities because such communities are very far away from the hospital and they cannot come here for immunization. Some of them are as far as 60 kilometers. So the hospital organizes mobile clinics to all these areas in order to make sure that all children who need immunizations are receiving their immunizations at the right time. These immunizations are very important because they prevent children from the childhood killer diseases. So if children receive immunizations, they are protected. Then we can be assured that the young children will grow up healthy. And we also have other mobile clinic programs whereby we are also targeting the pregnant women. Most of the pregnant women who are staying very far away from the hospital cannot manage to come here. So we are the ones going there to check them. Are they, uh, is their pregnancy have any complications? Do they need any supportive treatment? Do they need any extra advice? So we are able to do that in order to prevent maternal complications and the maternal deaths. But also in addition to that, we are also implementing what we call home-based care programs. Due to the occurrence, due to the pandemic of HIV AIDS, we have seen that there are a lot, a lot of patients who are chronically ill. And these people cannot be admitted in the hospital because their problems are chronic and they need to be taken care of within their communities. So as such, the hospital has organized what we call a home-based care program. With this home-based care program, we are able to go to the community every week. Every week we visit these people, we discuss with them, we hear their problems, we give them the treatment from their houses, and then we are also able to do counseling sessions to them. So this is really also bringing a very, very positive impact that Alinafe is not just a hospital, but a hospital that is working on the preventive part as well as the curative part, but also the rehabilitative part. Well, Alinafe is a facility that also needs to sustain itself. So some of the ways that Arinafe is doing is to try to generate some income that can help to support the hospital. And one of, that is, one of this initiative is the cyber. We have a cyber and this cyber is located in Benga and Benga is five kilometers from here. Benga is a, a, 
is what we call a trading center here where most of the people uh, gather because there are some small groceries and we have schools around the place. So the cyber is meant to generate money for the hospital because we have there what we internet and we have there people can be able to do uh, photocopying services they can be able to scan their documents and uh, even the secretarial work can also be done there and for those who are fond of playing video games we also have video games and the children enjoy instead of indulging in other immoral behaviors people can come to the site and uh, do uh, something positive with their lives and uh, this is also imparting very, very positive rates, not just a source of income, but it is also a kind of a transformation of the lives of the youth. Because now, most of the youth in the community, because this is a remote area, they are able to learn about the computer. So this is a very, very positive development for the center. We are not only focusing on uh, the income generation, but we are also focusing on the uh, community empowerment. So Arinafe is not just a hospital that is there to wait for patients to come and to be treated, but it is a hospital that is there in the community, working with the community to prevent cases from coming to the hospital. So when we see the hospital is quiet, we are proud because most of the causative factors of many problems that were coming to the hospital have been dealt with, have been treated within the community. So Arinafe is working hand in hand with the community. Arinafe means God is with us. But Arinafe also through the community means this hospital is with the people. So that is Arinafe.